Welcome back lawn lovers, BW here again. Hey, let's do a little touch up on that front lawn today. It's Wednesday, May 18th today, and I've decided to spot seed some winter damage to my perennial ryegrass lawn today. Here's a quick look at the lawn. What I'm interested in are the dead spots that were caused by snow mold over the winter. You can see a little bit of new grass coming in on some of them, like this one. But most are pretty dead, like these over here. Here's what the lawn looked like right after the snow melted. I have my grass seed in this handy little shaker bottle, and my peat moss and organic material loaded onto an old sled that I can drag along with me as I go. This lawn is 70% perennial ryegrass and 30% Kentucky bluegrass. The Kentucky bluegrass in the lawn can do a pretty good job of filling these in on its own, but it takes a while, and I will have lost all the perennial ryegrass that used to live in those spots. I want the lawn to have a nice uniform appearance, so replacing the perennial ryegrass will help with that. Perennial ryegrass isn't as winter hardy as Kentucky bluegrass, and it's actually considered a temporary grass up here in the northern states. I just love the dark shiny color of the ryegrass, so I decided to experiment with it in just my front lawn, with the understanding that I would sometimes have problems like this. I had so much less winter damage this year than last year, that I thought I would wait and see how much of the damage would fill in on its own, before I needed to give it some help. As you saw, one spot was filling in on its own, but most are still dead. You may have also noticed some whitened spots, caused by the fertilizer with weed preventer Safe for Grass Seed, that I use for my pre-emergent weed control in this part of the lawn. The whitening is only temporary and it'll go away on its own in a week or two. Needless to say, if I had used a weed preventer that wasn't safe for grass seed, I wouldn't be doing this at this time of year. Fortunately, perennial ryegrass is easy to plant and establish, because it terminates and grows in so quickly. This is about the easiest job in lawn care. I just sprinkle in a little grass seed and then cover it with the compost and peat moss while working it all into the soil. It's a lot like filling a divot on a golf course. There are some coarser pieces of organic material that I'm picking out and throwing back into the sled. They wouldn't be good for my real mower. I still have some of the original seed that I used to plant this lawn, so the new grass will match the old grass perfectly. It's always nice to have a little extra seed on hand for repairs like this. Most seed will keep for five years or more if stored in a cool and dry container. After that, you will have lost up to half the seed to age. Now I just need to keep the seed moist for a week or two. The current forecast is calling for rain for most of the next week, so that will save me a lot of work. The topsoil I used and the dense turf surrounding the seed and seedlings will also help to keep everything nice and moist for me. I don't have to go nuts with the watering in this situation with seed in just these small spots like this. If it gets really hot and dry, I may have to give the lawn 15 to 20 minutes of water at midday. In the meantime, I'll just mow the lawn as usual. In fact, I'll mow the lawn before I water the seed in. I sure wish Kentucky bluegrass was as easy to get started as perennial ryegrass, don't you? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so that you don't miss any new videos. And remember, you can do it!